welcome back. Uh, 6.53 now. As many as 40% of us are plagued by a fear of flying. Well, one British schoolboy suffered so badly, he was stranded in Abu Dhabi for 15 months, believe it or not. But uh, Joe Thompson has finally been reunited with his mum. It was always going to be a difficult journey. 12-year-old Joe Thompson developed an acute fear of travelling last year while living in Abu Dhabi. He's been travelling since he's been a baby. Every, uh, every year on holiday, he's been to Canada, he's been back and forth to the UAE. So it was a real shock when he ran off a plane in Dubai. And that's when I realised he had a real problem. The family moved to the UAE when Joe's dad got a job there. But three years later, his mum and sister had to return to the UK alone. Over the months, Joe tried four times to board a plane with his father, but each time he broke down in tears and refused to fly. After trying all sorts of treatments, Joe met a hypnotherapist who gave him the confidence to fly home. I just feel amazing. I just can't believe I did it. Finally, after 15 long months, Joe and his family were reunited on British soil. And he's only been back a day, but Joe is here with his mum and dad, Pauline and Tony. Along with us, uh, with them, is uh, their hypnotherapist, Russell Hemmings, the saviour, as we should call him <laughs> from now on. Uh, Joe, let's start with you. Just, um, I mean, it's an extraordinary story, really. Just to tell us, can you um, sort of describe what happened when you were going to the airport those four times, uh, and particularly the first time? Did it take you by surprise what was going on and why you were scared? Could you understand it? No, I was completely new to it. It just took me by surprise and no one knew what it was. And what first. were you feeling? What, what was the feeling? It was just terrifying to look and to see in your mind that big plane that you're about to get on. So, Russell, what exactly did you do to change his mind this time and enable him to fly back the day before yesterday? Well, I, I run a, a, a flying phobia programme uh, out in the Middle East uh, using a combination of hypnosis, uh, CBT, cognitive behavioural therapy and coaching. Um, so I was using a combination of work with them. And that's you working with Joe there. Now look, let's just clear up some of these stereotypes. You haven't got a pocket watch in front of his eyes. He's not looking in the eyes or around the eyes. Definitely what, not. What, what, how does it work? You just coax him, you talk to him. What do you do? No, um, firstly we need to find out what exactly is he fearing, because it, it could be a number of things. It could be the flying, it could be being trapped in an enclosed yeah. space. So we have to establish why was he frightened, first of all, because that can vary, and then by talking to him when he's in this trance state, this relaxed state, um, and change, changing his perception. His particular case was very extreme. Yeah. It's not normal to accompany someone. Normally, we put them through a program which they would attend a flight at, at ease, but let's it was bring acute. Your mom, yeah, let's bring your mum and dad here. I mean, so, Paul, you were uh, away from your son mm -hmm. for 15 months. I mean, could yeah. you understand what was going on? I mean, you must have thought, this is ridiculous. He's been on planes. Just get on. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, we couldn't understand it. I mean, it, it, it hit us as hard as it hit Joe. Um, you know, it, it just it came from nowhere. And, Tony, the reason you were separated is because you left your job in Abu Dhabi. The family moved back here, and, of course, Joe wouldn't get on the flight. But... I'm afraid you've got another job in Abu Dhabi, haven't you, to, to start up? So he's going to be flying again at some point soon. Well, absolutely. I mean, I, I've been with Joe, the two of us, for 15 months, and uh, I've, I've seen the failures, the disappointment, and I'm absolutely delighted that we're sitting here today. I mean, it's, it's amazing, and thanks to Russell's intervention, mm -hmm. we'd still be in the sandpit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just briefly, Russell, I mean, you did pay for the flights. Why did you, why did you decide to step up? Because normally this is your own business, isn't it? It's how sure, you make a living. Sure. Well, I, I, as I said, I, I work in the region, and Joe was stranded. Mm. Uh, I was just pleased to be able to help. Out of the goodness of your heart. And Joe, will you yeah. be now travelling around the world? Will you, what will you be doing with this new lack of fear of flying? Um, well, I'll definitely be travelling very soon, different places. Good. Uh, we're going to have, like, family movings, and we're just going to be a family again. Oh. Good. Well, we're really glad that you're here. Very brave of you to talk about it. Thank you for coming in, all of you. Nice no to problem. see you. Absolutely.